Statamic 2.9 is all about the developer experience, both yours and ours. We've refactored our JavaScript modules and build tools with Laravel Mix, Webpack, brought in Tailwind CSS. We've reworked a lot of the control panel and improved uh, responsiveness across nearly every layout using utility classes and other stuff. Uh, it was a big spring cleaning party, and I think we're all going to enjoy the benefits of that. But just in case 500 tiny little improvements are not exciting enough for you, let's dive into the top three new features and improvements you'll find in 2.9. Pretty sure you're going to love it, but you don't have to take my word for it. We've gone ahead and just redesigned, reimagined, and rebuilt the entire thing. A publishing experience is one of the most important things in a content management system. And being able to create good publishing experiences easily and quickly and consistently is just about as, as important as those forms themselves. So we've done a lot of things here. And let me go through a couple of the most important ones so you can see what you're getting. Uh, the first thing is we now support tabs. We're calling them sections because semantically they may not always look like a tab, but click plus, SEO, meta, create a label, get your handle and start adding fields. It's that easy. Uh, we now have two new buttons here. Well, not two new buttons, but we have one new button. Creating a field will show our new field type selector. You can filter them by type. So text, media, relationships. This should help you figure out which field type does which thing. The special system fields like title and slug are now here. So you can actually drop these into your forms and customize them and rename them and relabel them. All that stuff that you guys have wanted. Yeah, we just threw it all in because it's important. It's all valuable and it's well, we like you guys. So let's just set up a couple of like SEO meta fields, right? So we'll, we'll do a text field, we'll call it uh, meta title, we'll close this. And let's just go quick add from here on out. Quick add will skip that form and let you edit these right in line. Meta description and let's grab a tags field, meta tags, cool. Next, let's make another section. And if you call it side bar yeah you get to edit the fields on the sidebar so let's just go ahead and take this social media thing we're going to move it over here into the social media tab and maybe take our intro image and put that over here yeah you see how easy this is uh save that let's go back to our dashboard pick an entry like spring has sprung and now you've got your intro image in the sidebar you've got multiple tabs and if you collapse everything dun, 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 dun. you'll see sidebar collapse up into a tab yeah that's pretty usable you can also define the widths of your fields right in line as well as uh, reorder these tabs however you want it's up to you do your thing. Next up on the tour, the collection listing screen. Now, what I'm about to show you also applies to the taxonomy listing screen, so know that you are learning two things at once and being super productive right now. All right, cool. So the first thing here is a new responsive view. So if you have a small screen, things stack into a nice little card, and all of a sudden you've got all this room, and you can read everything, and there's no problem with oversized responsive tables. Cool. Now next, you've been able to customize the columns in these screens for a few versions now, but it was limited to only data in this particular collection uh, that is in a string format, which is a little bit rigid. And so what we've gone ahead and done is support uh, related fields and assets and thumbnail images. Let me show you how that works. Uh, before you come to the content collections blog folder, and you have this columns field and you can customize the columns. So like before you can do this, you can remove slug and slug is gone. But now what you can do, I'll let me just paste this chunk in here for you, is a lot more. We can customize the column order. We have thumbnails, we have related data here, and it's really easy to manage. So. You can set uh, the width, you can change the column header, you can pull in related content, 
with this dot syntax and pull in dun, 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 data from other collections, thus giving you a great and easy way to customize this screen. Uh, you can also show in your assets, if you don't want to show the title like the related field, we can show the alt tag, which, wow, is pretty wide. So maybe we want to set the width to be like 200. Nope, 400. If this is important to you. Or you could show the title field. Or you could show the file name. You get the idea. Very flexible. Uh, you also can pick which fields get the link. So the title field is going to be linked to that entry and lets you move it around and keep everything connected. Last but not least, we took some time to rebuild the control panel's page tree component. It's cleaner, it's more responsive, and has a much more natural feeling drag and drop experience. For everything else, visit statamic.com slash changelog.